an idea that I had the other day is I want to be able to have my music collection playback in a random mode uh, as kind of a radio replacement. Basically create my own little radio program that is never interrupted by anything and that only plays the music that I do like. And I wanted to be able to do that without having to run my PC all the time. So I remembered a feature that uh, the Movid Internet Radio has, and as you can see in the menu, we do have an option called USB playback. And that was the idea that I had. Plug an external hard disk drive into there and then access the music from the thing and have it play all day long. Well, that was the plan, so <laughs> I guess you can tell that didn't work out. And it sure didn't. Now, the first thing, the silly USB in this does not have enough oomph to spin up an external hard disk drive. So the little three and a half inch unit that I was going to use didn't work. So I went with a USB thumb drive, put some MP3 files on there because this thing, it'll only do MP3. It will not even do WAV. MP3 that's the only thing that this will do. Uh, it will detect a file system on the drive, so if you have some subfolders, you can go through this uh, menu system and access them and all that. The most advanced thing that this will do aside from that is once the one mp3 file has finished playing, it can go to the next one, going by the name. There is no random playback mode there isn't even a skip, go to the next track thing. This, it'll do playback one after the other, and that's it. So this has got to be the most pathetic media player I've ever seen. So I was kind of disappointed with that, and uh, well, did some research, and I finally came up with a solution that is very, very versatile, and... Uh, <laughs> I guess you would have never expected me uh, working with uh, with one of those things, but uh, here it is. Just got it today. A Raspberry Pi. Let's take a look at the whole thing. So, uh, the setup is, uh, well, we have this high-tech Raspberry Pi housing, custom-made, as you can no doubt see. Here we have the unit itself. This is the B plus version, which is unfortunate. I wanted to have the non plus version because it still works with standard size SD cards, but I couldn't get it in the local electronics store. They only had the B plus version with 512 MB of uh, RAM and the micro SD slot. So I had to spend another $9.99 for a micro SD card, class 10 card. Of course, you want to be running fast cards. What do we have setup wise? Well, power comes in right there through a micro USB. I'm just using my uh, USB hub to uh, power the whole thing. The HDMI cable goes to the monitor. And I got to say, I'm quite impressed. I mean, well, actually, I am I am impressed about basically anything about this little thing. I mean, it's it's tiny. It's absolutely tiny, but it's it's it, it will do high definition video playback and all that jazz. Quite remarkable. And I mean, this does get a pretty damn good picture on this uh, 2K 27 inch display that I have right here. And I only have it set to 720p at the moment. Not even full HD, it can do that as well, of course. Uh, this is the uh, combined, yeah, that's another thing about the more modern version. This gives you a combined jack, so this will do analog video as well as analog audio. However, uh, unlike with camcorders with a similar uh, connector, on this one they have the, uh, the setup uh, in a different way, the connections. So if you hook up a, uh, a pair of headphones, uh, you're not listening to the video signal on the one channel like you do with uh, with camcorders. 
uh, we have uh, Ethernet right here, and I do have it connected to the internet for some reason. It's kind of unnecessary. Uh, mouse and keyboard is hooked up right there. And then down there we have a 64 gigabyte USB thumb drive that contains the music that we're listening to right now. Kind of disappointing. There we have my nice three and a half inch external hard disk drive. It contains a uh, 320 gigabyte drive. That's plenty of space for all of my music that I have. But also this thing won't power the damn thing. So when I put this into a proper housing, which I will eventually, once I have all the software up and running, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna uh, take the data pins from one of these jacks and I'm going to replace the 5 volt power supply with an external one so that it'll run this thing. The SD card, micro SD card sits down there. So what's going on on the software side of things? Well I did do some research and I found a Linux distribution that'll run on the Raspberry Pi. It is called, uh, it's gonna come up down there in this uh, in this news feed eventually it's called open elec e l e c and this is basically a very basic system that will only run a media uh, center called kodi this is uh, this used to be called the xbox media center or xbmc so you hook up your thumb drive and uh, you can import all the files on the drive into the library, uh, which means that uh, you know they, they only pop up right here on the screen. They're not actually copied onto the SD card. <laughs> and then, of course, as you can see, I have it set to German language for convenience. So we got music right there, and we can access uh, artists, albums, songs, files, uh, database, and add-ons, which I don't have any. Once you got the thing started up, once you got it playing, uh, you can uh, set it, let's see, uh, it, it can show some animations on here, I got that turn off, no need to doing so. And right there is the shuffle mode, so we can have random playback. Essentially, this is uh, this is what I was looking for. What, what I would like to ultimately be able to do with this is... Um, I want to put this into a box, and the box is going to have an AC input, it's going to have some stereo RCA output jacks, and possibly some buttons on the front. That's going to be the problem, the interface. Now I have already tried, you can just uh, kill the power to this and turn it back on and it's not going to upset anything. So I can uh, just cut power to this and turn it back on, and it will start up. However, it will not start to play automatically. You will have to say, play back some music. Uh, it will memorize that you were in random playback mode and it will continue to do so once you have the playback started. Uh, so essentially, I will have to come up with something. Uh, basically, now ideally, I'd like to have on the front of my box a uh, skip forward or, or, you know, go to another one button and uh, you know, start playback button or pause button or whatever. Uh, you can, by the way, do that. These things right here, these are all pins and you can assign them to do various different things. Get rid of the monitor. I don't want to have a monitor hooked up to the stereo system. Uh, get rid of the mouse, get rid of the keyboard, uh, and just, uh, you know, just do everything uh, as, you know, with this thing alone, standalone thing. Now, uh, something that I could do is I could program my smartphone. Yeah, I, <laughs> I have a smartphone. I could actually do something smart with it, finally, and uh, remote control this thing. Uh, somehow you can set that up. I'll have to figure out how to do that. So maybe if I do that, uh, it'll be all good to go. I can use the mobile phone to start the, uh, the playback. Uh, in this box. That's basically what I'll have to figure out. I, I want to get rid of all these peripherals um, and uh, want to be able to remote control this thing and just have it sitting in the box as part of the stereo system. Well, thank you for watching and if you have some advice 
what I could do in order to get rid of all these peripherals and be able to control this in a nice and comfortable way, or maybe even make those uh, front panel buttons work somehow, tell me. And uh, of course, if, if you say, well, this, this, is, this is absolute, totally the wrong thing for you, for, for what you want to uh, do with it, uh, you can also suggest a different Linux distribution. As I said, the requirement is I want to be able to turn on the thing. I want to be able to plug in a hard disk drive. It should read all the files off of the hard disk drive and play them back uh, randomly. That's the requirement. Thank you for watching once again and see you again soon.